So everyone, welcome to the Power Play with CJ. We're going to talk about uh, Stefan Nosen and Team USA being ruled ineligible for the World Juniors and what that means, uh, you know, for for the USA, for Nosen, for everyone. I spent 10 games for a hit that occurred on December 8th uh, against the Oshawa Generals. He plays with the Plymouth Warriors for the OHL. I found a piece on him. He's a, a very good player, one of the top prospects in the Ottawa Senators organization. So I drafted in the first round back in 2011. Uh, Plano, Texas native. Has 17 goals and 9 assists in 26 games with uh, with Plymouth to go along with 27 Pims. You know, he, like I say, he's a very good player, hard-nosed guy that got, I think should have made the U.S. World Junior team last year, but will never go on to represent the U.S. of the World Juniors because this was the last opportunity. Uh, I saw the hit on YouTube. It was definitely a dirty hit that warranted a suspension 10 games. You know, eh, maybe a little much, but... You know, you got to understand the OHL's message is to prevent hits like this happening and to establish good habits as part of a developmental league to make sure these hits aren't happening at the next level. All right, I, I can reason with that. But, you know, for the IIHF to... I, like, I, I understand what they're doing, but I, I still think it's fair to miss the entire tournament. I know Sean Monaghan, the Auto 67, is kind of fell into the same boat. Um, but I, I think there should be a fine line between... The two leagues, I mean, I understand you're trying to set a precedent, but at the same time, you know, these kids only get one opportunity, only get X amount of opportunities to represent the country. Now, you should have thought twice for through the hit, but, I mean, it's kind of like USA Hockey, uh, governing body, I got suspended five games for a spare in one league, and it followed over to another, so I was like, you know, and that we were in the playoffs in the other league, so I was like, come on, I think I was 16 or 17, that, that was tough. And we lost in the finals without my grit and tenacity. Of course, that, that would have probably led to about five more sparing penalties. But, you know, you got to understand, you know, there's a governing body there and you got to honor it. But, and then the next question is, is it a bias against Americans? That's kind of a sensitive topic. Um, I, I, I'm not going to scream bias because, like I said, the hit was a dirty hit, whatever country you represent. But, you know, I mean, come on. You, you'd be naive to suggest it doesn't exist, even though there are more Americans and major juniors than ever before. But... You know, it, I think he'd be playing the top six, top nine role with Team USA, and that's going to be a big. It's easier to make the cuts now because that he was a shoe in for the team. So one guy that wasn't going to make it otherwise is now on the team. They had to make four cuts, and uh, so I think there's at least one forward that's safe now. So that's that's been pretty cool, and uh, you know, like I said, it's going to be a, it's a tough blow for Team USA, but something they I don't think they they can't recover from. Without I mean, you got Galchenyuk and good drills, top two forwards, you're going to be in good shape. Um, you know, that top line would be great with Miller. And then, you know, th they'll find a way to replace him and they'll find, a, you know, some tenacity somewhere in that lineup for them. But it's still a tough loss. And like I said, was it Amer anti-American bias? I don't think so. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm not ruling it out, but at the same time, I mean, come on, really? They're screwing us because we're Americans. You know, but that that's something to look at. But, you know, I'm curious to see how, uh, how Team USA responds and who, who gets sent home and who gets to make the team that otherwise wouldn't have made it. Uh, so like I said, I thought Nozen was a shoe up for the team. That's all I this episode of the Power Play with CJ on Stefan Nozen being ruled ineligible for the World Juniors. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.